Okay, back to what I was saying. Sorry about that. I know y'all is probably sick of my damn camera running out of batteries all the time. But, um, yeah, what I was saying is, um, yeah, once you've gotten the, um, the base into the, um, the mold, uh, condition whatever color you want the cupcake or muffin to be. In this case, I'm making, um, chocolate with a strawberry base. Or, well, not even a strawberry base with a, um, a pink, I guess you could say wrapper base. But, um, so just condition it and roll it into a bowl. And just stick it right on top. And you might need to add more. You might eat, need to take away some. Um, or it might just be right. It depends on how you like your cupcakes. Um... But just press it firmly so that it, it adheres to the base and um, shape it. And I have a tool that I bought yesterday at the um, Dick Blick Art Materials store. And it actually came in handy for this project. Um, I actually went around the base of it and kind of shaped, shaped the edge of the cupcake so it's more round and um, has a more realistic shape so just go around it and shape it and it should actually pop right out when you do this so be careful um, this really helps I don't know if you can really see that but it really really helps um, even a cuticle pusher backer tool might work um, the same as this tool. So just, just shape it, make sure it's round. Um, don't make sure it's too round because you want it to look realistic and um, real cupcakes and muffins aren't perfectly round so make it a little lumpy and um, just shape it. And then after you do that take a texturing tool, in this case I'm using the um, Iron Man toothbrush um, and just go crazy on its muffin ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot there's younger viewers. Just go crazy with it and texture it as much as you can. Make sure <laughs> I'm sorry about that y'all. Make sure that the um <laughs> make sure that you get the sides. Um I'm crazy, I know, I'm sorry. I am so sorry y'all. Make sure you get all the way around. And what you actually also can do to give it a baked look. I know, how do you give a baked look on something that's already like dark chocolate? Do the same thing you would have done if it was light. So, um, but only use a darker pastel color. Um, in this case, you could use something like this one or even black but um, I usually use this one so um, I'm just going to take it and only run it around the edge so that it looks like it was sitting against the actual um, baking pan and I don't know if you can tell the difference actually I think you can see it through the camera but um, yeah do it around the edge and make sure to clean your mold um, <laughs> your uh, bootleg um, sculpey polymer clay scrap mold <laughs> Um, before you do this again, I know I really got to get some like mold putty because this the, the this sculpey mold is not it's not good actually because the shape is de deformed and whatever. So I went around the edge to make it look like it's been sitting on the pan and it's baked, and you can actually do a little bit on top too. Just dab it and get as much texture as possible. And after you've done that. Um, it should pop right out because of the baby powder, hopefully, 
but I'm just going to go around the edge with my tool and pry it out. Try to not put your fingers on it as much as possible because of the fingerprints and whatever else. So I'm just going around the edge and prying it out little by little. And it should come right out. Might have to give it a few. There we go. So and then just clean up the edges a little bit. There's a little baby powder on there, but it'll come right off, especially when you, um, after you, uh, bake it, just, um, wipe it off or gently wipe it off with your fingers or even when you glaze it, you really won't be able to tell. But like I said, use the, um, oh no, I messed up my other one. Um, use the, uh, cornstarch instead of, um, what do you call it? Um, baby powder because you don't want your cupcakes to be smelling like a baby's butt but um hold on one second i just messed up the cupcake that i just made for the example but um when it's done you can decorate it to your liking let me give you a good look at that now this is a jumbo cup cupcake only because the cupcake that we used to make the mold was big um and like i said this is the an eraser um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a jumbo cupcake. So I don't know if it'd be great as an earring because it probably, well, it'd be kind of heavy, but, um, maybe you can cut it in half and make it into a stud earring. Um, but I think it works best as maybe a, um, a giant cell phone charm or a pendant for a necklace. But, um, yeah, after it's, after you've completed your, the top and the base, um, what you can do is go ahead and decorate it, and this is the same one, well, same colors. And what I did was made a little strawberry, and um, put some silver and pink sprinkles on it, which are the glass marbles. And um, I whipped up some uh, TLS, Translucent Liquid Sculpey, with a uh, Sculpey... I hate Sculpey so much because it's like sticky. I always try to get um, Primo, but I love this color. This is my absolute favorite color, Dusty Rose. Um, love, love, love this color. So I mix this up with um, TLS to make the... Um, I keep knocking this thing over. It must not be meant for me to bake it. But um, let me move this out the way. Um, I mixed it up. I made the uh, icing. And... Um, yeah, that, for the strawberry red and green, but um, that's how it turned out. So just be creative. Do whatever you want. I mean, try different color bases, um, different color muffins. You know, you can you can go crazy with it. Any color really doesn't matter. Be creative. Who cares? And um, like I showed you before, these um, this is the first one I made, and um, the second one with the bow and the only reason why I did the bow is because when I was inserting the clay into the um, into this part it was getting messed up so I put the bow to cover something up but anyway I'm running out of time so, boom. so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, comment if you have any more requests let me know and if you have any questions just ask so alright later